What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here. I'm over at the Samsung booth at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. And in this video, we're checking out the new Samsung Galaxy S10e, specifically this color here, which is the canary yellow color. Now this color almost looks more like a highlighter yellow color, and it's pretty unique. I don't think I've ever really seen anything like this before in any smartphone out there. Now there are three versions of the Samsung Galaxy S10 coming out. There's of course the normal Samsung Galaxy S10, there's also the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and then this version of the phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Now this is available unlocked for $749. I'll have a link in the video description to where you can pick this up, but essentially this is Samsung's response to the iPhone XR. So it'll be interesting to see how this sells and potentially if this is one of Samsung's top sellers in their flagship smartphone lineup. I have a strong feeling that the Samsung Galaxy S10e is gonna be one of the top sellers of the Samsung Galaxy S10 lineup, considering that 749 is already quite a bit for this phone, and most people aren't really looking to pay $1,000 and up for a smartphone. And what's great about the S10e is that it still packs in a lot of great features for the price. The device features a 5.8 inch Full HD display, which is 2280 by 1080. It comes in two different configurations, with the first configuration being 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of ROM. And the second configuration is 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of ROM. So that's a lot of storage in both configurations, and the RAM for both those configurations are definitely in the flagship genre. In addition to that, we're getting some solid cameras with this device. So on the rear of the device, we have a 16 megapixel camera and a 12 megapixel secondary camera. And then on the front, we have a 10 megapixel dual pixel camera. Now, if this canary yellow is not your style, then you can always choose from prism white, prism black, prism green, prism blue, or flamingo pink. So with all those different colors, there's definitely something for everybody. Now one of the major features that comes with the new Samsung Galaxy S10 for all three versions of the phone is the Infinity O display. So essentially there is no notch on this device. Instead, they have a cutout for the camera in the top right corner. And in my opinion, that's a great alternative to a notch. So one of the interesting things about the Galaxy S10e is that there is no fingerprint sensor built into the display. Instead, on the right side here, on the power button, there actually is a fingerprint sensor right there. I think that's a great place for the fingerprint sensor, as I've used fingerprint sensors on the front of a device, on the back of the device, and on the side, and I really think the side is a natural place for that fingerprint sensor. Now, also looking at the hardware here, we have this kind of interesting yellowish band going around the side of the device, and it is metal, of course. The back is glass, which is kind of required for this to have wireless charging. On the top side, we have the slot for the SIM card and micro SD card. We also have the noise canceling microphone. On the left side, we have the volume rocker and we have the Bixby button, which for this year can actually be remapped to toggle any application on the device, which is a great thing to see and something that people have really been asking for a long time for from Samsung. And then finally on the bottom, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is great to see. That's another thing that's kind of been going away on flagship devices, but it's good to see that Samsung has kept that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We also have a USB type C port on the bottom. We have a microphone and we have the speaker. So I wanna know, what do you think of this canary yellow color on the Samsung Galaxy S10e? I'm really interested to know your opinions on that. And if you'd like me to pick up this device, do a full review of it on my channel, then definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really excited about the Galaxy S10e. I think it's gonna be a great hot seller for Samsung. And there's really a lot to look forward to with this device. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.